Morning, traders. It's Palmer from Bank to Trade. It is Saturday, October 23rd. And if you don't know what was happening yesterday in the markets, um, I don't know where you were. Wake up, because a lot was going on. Uh, re and awesome calls. We shredded Fun and DWAC and several other tickers in the room. Um, if you don't know me, I am one of the moderators in Awesome Calls Trading with AJ and several other mods. If you swing stocks, play options, small caps, large caps, if you don't know anything about trading, this is the place to get educated. There are members in this room that don't even have accounts yet, and they are here to pick up on the education before they put any money in the markets. There are people with small accounts in here uh, that trade options, that take small positions. They might only have 500 or a few thousand dollars in their account. They are in this room. Okay, this blog right here, awesomecallstrading.com, go to the blog. There are about a hundred days of previous plays in here. There is no email required. There is no registration, nothing to sign up for come to the website you can see the tickers you can see the notes chart them go through the news see how things worked out it is a great resource to get your feet wet wet to get uh, accustomed to the tickers that are traded lots of information here 100 percent free okay my feed i am on twitter at uh, palmer at bank the trade and what I try to do every morning is put tickers out there that have a potential to be in play. Um, some of them make AJ's list, some of them don't. But either way, I'm only going to be trading the tickers that are in my feed, that are on AJ's list, or happen to be brought into the room by a mod or a trader where something is running, something's going on. Okay, but what I want to do for uh, this video, I want to go over this ALV trade. All right, it was in my feed in the morning. There's a reason for it, and there's a reason that it probably didn't make AJ's list also. All right, we're going to touch on a few things because there's a lot that goes on with this trade aside from DWAC and PHUN that we're ripping. All right, going to go over this step by step. A lot of stuff to go over. I'm going to try to touch on everything. Um, but this is about fishing. Okay. AJ has his stocks. You want to find your stocks also. Okay. You have to be a news hound. You have to dig into why stocks are moving. Okay. And it could be a multitude of reasons. All right. You have to put the pieces together. And in awesome calls... This is what AJ and the mods try to tune you into, okay? We want you to get in touch with what's happening in the market, all right? And just because the bell hasn't rung yet, or the bell has already rung, or it's Saturday or Sunday, there's always something to do, okay? Success depends on time, determination, patience, the will, and the want to do something, all right? The more time you can put into this to finding the reasons why something's moving and then learn how to play that move, the better off you're going to be. All right. So let's get into this chart. Let's get into this trade that was on nobody's watch list, that was on nobody's radar because it was moving in the background. But there's still a reason why I had it and why I wanted to trade it. Here we go. Auto lift. Now I left a few notes up here. But we're going to go into the why. Now, on my website, banktotrade.com, click on the video course. This is my setup. This is about how I find stocks, about how I define the trend, and how I get into finding those entries within the trend. All right, there's about 12, 13 hours of video lessons in here. If you have some questions, feel free to contact me. But this is how I trade. And this is how I do everything if you're interested. Come check it out. All right. So 
Auto lift. Okay, it's kind of a thin stock. The previous volume, this is Friday's action. So Thursday it had half a million shares traded. All right, and for the day it has about less than a million, you know, 600, 700,000 shares traded. It's not very popular, um, but it's still tradable either way. Okay, so why did I tweet this? Why did I have this in my feed? And for those in my video course, know a lot more of the details okay but this was it missed on earnings okay it missed on earnings missed on revenue they even guided down for 2021 for the rest of the for uh q3 i believe all right so the earnings were not too great i think jp morgan put 102 bucks on it but that's about where it already was all right so that's it okay so if the earnings are down they missed all around, they guided lower, and it's up three or four or five points. Why is it getting bought up? Okay, why is it getting bought? All right, the numbers, in my opinion, don't justify the move up. Now, it's a thin stock. Okay, and so what I did with Thinkorswim, I, I diverted some funds from Interactive Brokers. I took a chunk out of there. I put some in TOS as, you know, I'm starting a small account challenge for myself. I've got two things, a lot of stuff going on. All right, because I'm trying to show you guys there's about $4,000 in this account. All right. So what did I do? What did I do? It's gapping up. All right, so the first thing what I do is on the daily chart, I want to take a look at a few things. All right, and this is a sum of what I'm going over in my course. You know, we want to map the chart out. Where has it been in the past? And where had, does it have the potential to be going and targets and resistance and that sort of thing okay plotting fibs and that all, all that kind of stuff now this is friday's action so we don't know this is going on but this is the chart all right and it's kind of you know it's bouncing around this 95 90 to 95 area where it's been all right so i'm looking at this and i'm like all right that's where we are but I also see there's a previous like head and shoulders here that was already, the neckline was already broken. It already made that move. But we also have this channel that's forming these resistance areas somewhere around here. Okay, and you see the channel. And if you look at the longer term, this looks like a great big bull flag waiting to break out. All right, but we have, we're at a resistance area. Okay, kind of broke out came back down, settled around, because this is, I believe it's used cars and they've been hot, prices are going up, but it's at resistance, according to this pattern right here, this channel, but it missed on earnings and revenue and it guided down. So that tells me I'm already at resistance. What's the potential for this to come back down? All right, why should it break out on bad numbers? All right, it's had a move up into earnings and they missed. We're at the top of the channel. All right. So I'm also, I'm kind of looking in here. All right. As, because I already know I want to take this short. All right. So price targets. All right. Before the day was open, you know, previous support is about here. We, we, we knocked on the door here. We've got the 50% number here. I'm coming back and I'm marking these areas. We, we even have a gap fill at about 90. All right, and we have our 61 fib right at about 87 or 88. So that's marked already, but I like this gap fill. Okay, we're gonna get into that a little more. Coming to the one minute, pre-market. All right, it's ticking up. Remember, this is a small account challenge. So I sell all of, I take a starter. I short 25 shares. Okay, why only 25? Small account. All right, I'm trying to show some other people how you can do this with a small account. Along with the education you pick up and awesome calls. Okay. You're not going to pick it up in one day. You're not going to pick it up in one week. A month, there's a lot that goes on. If it's earnings season, you're going to pick up a lot. If it's not earnings season, we're going to touch on that in the room. Okay. Time, education, determination, patience, will to do something adds to success. Okay, I take a starter at 20, 25 shares at 98, all right? Now, it's, it's pre-market. It's really thin, all right? But previous day's volume's half a million shares. Daily volume's about six, 700,000. So this is probably normal, 
Okay, not too many eyes on it, but it's getting bought up. Now the spread pre-market on a higher priced, lower volume stock, not going to be great. 50, 60 cents. This hit 100 up here, I believe. All right, I tried to add to it. Sold five more shares. Got my average down to 98.14 on all 30 shares. Okay, now for those members that are in my video course, of course I have my indicators and my scripts plotted because that's the main thing that I'm watching also, along with the news, okay, along with the daily chart. You guys in the course, you guys and girls in the course, you know exactly what I'm talking about. All right, so we start opening. We start not opening, but we start to fade a little bit. Okay, and I had two points here already, pre-market. Hey, it could have been done. 30 shares, two points, it doesn't matter. Okay, small account, you build on it. Singles up the middle, you build that account. However, because of the things that AJ goes over, I know what's going to go on. Okay, I'm looking for at least a gap fill, maybe more. Okay, why didn't I bring this up in the room? Why didn't I, you know, mention this? Blah, blah, blah. With, with DWAC and fun screaming out of the gate with momentum, why do I want it? Why would anybody want to say, hey, AJ, can you take a look at this? When it's, you know, at the open and it's down, you know, here's the open and it's still up. It's not doing anything. Here's the close. It's, it's flat at this point. There's no way I'm going to bring this in the room. Okay, if you're in awesome calls, and AJ's running a stock, or we're running a stock, and everybody's on it, the last thing you want to do is bring up a ticker in the room that has no range, that is 38 cents, don't do it, okay? My piece of advice to you, don't do it. If you're in the room, keep your focus on the tickers in the list. If a stock is running out of gate like DWAC and Fundware or pre-market, that's your focus, okay? Keep your focus there. Other tickers, don't bring them in. It's not going to be fun. You're not going to like the outcome. Okay, so this is fishing. Okay, this is all about fishing for stocks. Okay, so we added five. Based on the news, which is the earnings, why is it still up? Okay. Down, 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 down. All right. Back to that one-year chart. Targets are posted. I'm looking for these areas. I'm looking for this, and I'm still holding it. I'm still holding 30 shares because I'm thinking this is going to get down to 90. A little below that. 89. Then I'll put a hard stop in or keep watching it more. I think we're going to get back down to this 87 area. Okay, but that's just me. Back to the, the chart, daily chart. What do we have? All right. Selling, selling, selling. Again, it's a low volume stock and I only put in a million shares. All right. And so I'm thinking, you know, we're coming down to this. Now, this is the channel line right here that I drew. Now, this is on a one minute chart. When it's drawn on the daily chart, it looks like a flat line because you're only looking at a couple hours of the day versus the year when you have a drawing on here. All right. So this is the, uh, the top of the channel line drawing. All right. Still hugging that, still coming into that, or the middle of the channel. This is the mid-channel line. Top of the channel line. Had to look. Okay, this is just a, a support area. All right, so we we break out of that channel on the daily, and we come right back down into that area. Okay, again, you're, you're up on an earnings miss and a guidance down. Why are you up? Now, it's not on AJ's list, more than likely, because if you're in the room, you know why. It needs a little more range. Okay, at this point, it's only up about three or four bucks. All right. Still, with already having made money on Fun and DWAC for, I believe it was almost $6,700, I can come to this now on this other account and start looking for just a, little, a little extra. Okay, because the day is done. This is just gravy. Small account for some of you people. I want to show you how this can be done. All right. Coming back into the channel. All right, now AJ talks about, he's starting to talk about boxes. Okay. I want to zoom in here. We're coming back to that channel area. Now on a thin stock, you got to 
you got to know what's going on. Okay, where's your box area? Here's a box area. All right. And you have what? Now, the volume is crap for the day, but the majority of it is down here. It looks like we start to get some kind of basing action. All right. Selling is kind of slowed down. We get some buying. Volume push. Now, it's only 93.19 to 93.60. 50 cents. Okay, but there's nothing wrong with 50 cents. I'll take 50 cents. Remember, we're day trading. Okay, we're in and out. All right, got a box here. We come back down at the channel. But then what do we see? What starts going on for the rest of the day? There is nothing but this longer term box that gets happening. All right, it's stuck in the channel. All right, no big buying, no big selling. I'm watching it. If we get to the 94 area, I'm probably going to get out. My thesis is not correct. We're not going to get to 92, or excuse me, not that 89, 87 area. All right, towards the end of the day, we're at the lows. Volume's coming in, and then we get more selling coming in. We come through that box, selling on the end. These, probably short covers. Squaring up their positions. No funds buying this. 20,000 shares, that's not a whole lot. You want big blocks of volume. We had a volume push up here. I started watching this area thinking that we might have the bottom in because this was a pretty good pop on volume. Volume for the day is low. But then we just start holding. Okay, I'm paying attention to things. And if we break out of here on big volume, I know what's going to happen. But we still have an earnings miss and the guide lower. All right, we're at the top of a resistance channel. I want to come back into that channel. All right, we came back to 92. I'm looking at 90 or 87. If we get down to 90, I'll start mentally stopping things around this 92 area because previous support is going to turn into resistance. Okay, so to sum this up, you got a stock that's up on an earnings and guide, earnings miss and, and a guiding down. Okay, it's not up a whole lot. But it's up enough for me to take notice. Okay, but this is fishing. This is the education you get from AJ to start digging into things on your own. I tweeted this out. All right, fun was going to be moving. DWAC was going to be moving. That's where you, kind of as a new trader, want to put your focus. Because when those are going to be jamming, that's where everybody's going to be looking. Not too many people on ALV. All right, small account holders. You could have traded this. You can still trade fund. You can still trade DWAC. All right. Giving this to you guys and girls just to show you some how to's. Some of the education. Okay. If you want to get really into the specifics of how I trade, how I find these plays, visit the site. Take a look at the video courses, an intro video here, and some questions and ask questions already answered that you might have. Now, for those of you in the course, you know about the momentum script. All right, I do have the three minute and the one minute signals on here. All right, but let's check this out. And if people are not familiar with it, I'm trading the trend, I'm trading the momentum pullbacks or rallies with the trend. All right, trying to find those entries. Okay, so on the open, our momentum, based on how we define a trend, is nothing but down. We have a little rally here, and we're spotting what to get back into this. These one-minute pullbacks, people in the video course, possibly here, possibly here, because we're coming back into that area with another signal to tell us. All right, another short here. Okay, now we're starting to recognize what's going on. Okay, we start to range, and the further we are away from the high, when we want to take a short entry, in this case in a downtrend, the more risk we might be taking on, because a lot of the move is already in. Okay, we can still take these, but no, we've put in a good move already. Okay, so the move might be over. Same thing with an uptrend. The further you are away from a potential bottom and you're getting in, the more risk you're taking on as far as the propensity for that chart to come down or for this chart to start curling up. 
Okay, but we missed on earnings here. We got it down. So I'm not buying this. Who's buying this? Nobody yet. Okay, we get into our box. And now we get our mixed signals. And then you're in the video course. You know this is a no trade zone. Okay, because we're waiting for things to clean up and give us room to the upside. All right. The way to trade this, if you wanted to, would be sell the tops, buy the bottom, sell the top, buy the bottom in this channel area here. But that's not the momentum script is for. We are trading the trend right here. One minute chart. There is really no trend here. Getting mixed signals. So we know in the course we're not supposed to trade this because we're already long. Okay, if we waited for our first entry, we're already long here at this 96.50 or 96 area. We've gotten three and a half points or so. We're starting to take some off. Okay, I'm holding this. 30 shares because I think we can get a few more points out of it. I'm not being greedy. I just think the move is not over yet. All right, low volume stock is not going to move much after hours. Okay, but if you want to know more about how this momentum script works, how it helps us define the entries for the volume along with the trend in play, come check out the video course. If you want to get educated in the markets, come into Awesome Calls, check it out. Check out the blog. It's free. Me, put out tickers early in the morning. All right, about three hours before the open, I am putting information out there. Tickers in play that might be moving, that might have a potential to move. All right, so that's how this ALV was set up. That's how I'm going to play it. Let's go play. It's Saturday. Take some time off. Decompress. Sunday afternoon, Sunday evening comes. Start, start studying up whether your earnings coming out. All right, you guys have a safe weekend. We will see you soon. Trade smart.